Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. Here we're going to talk about some very, very important topics in algebra. The first one we're going to be talking about is parentheses. We'll be doing a lot more with that in this lesson. And very importantly, we'll be talking about this thing called the order of operations. Um, basically, we've talked about this before. Parentheses you set around uh, things that you need to do in your problems, and it forces you to do that part of the problem first. An order of operations is a complete list of the order in which you tackle the math operations in your problem. So it literally tells you step by step what to do first, what to do second, and so on. So we're going to take our time to really write this down and make sure you understand. So what we're talking about is the order of operations. And by the way, we're just kind of introducing it here. We're going to be talking about the order of operations all throughout algebra, so it's something that we're going to hit over and over and over again. Basically, when you have a math problem or an algebra problem, a lot of times you will have multiplication in that problem. You'll have division, you'll have addition, you'll have parentheses. So the very first thing you do when you look at a problem, the very first thing you always do is you do the parentheses first. You do what's inside the parentheses first. So I'm going to write that down, and I've kind of mentioned that to you over and over uh, again. We're going to do the parentheses first, but we're going to do them, sometimes you have uh, multiple sets of parentheses. So you do the inner parentheses first, and you work your way to the outer parentheses. Innermost parentheses to outermost parentheses. After you do the parentheses, you always look and see, and the next highest priority is multiplication and division. Multiply and divide. And when you do multiplication and division, in general, you're going to do it left to right. In other words, if you have a bunch of things multiplied in a string, like in a line, you'll just read it like a book. You multiply left to right. Same thing with division. All right. And after you've done parentheses and you've done the multiplication and division, the third priority, the lowest priority, really, is addition and subtraction. So add and subtract. And again, you're going to do it left to right, just like we do the multiplication and division. Left to right. So this is all I'm going to teach you right now for order of operations. As we get farther in algebra, we'll add stuff to this list. We'll talk about exponents and square roots and other things that we will do. But right now, all you have to do is when you look at your problem, if you have any parentheses, you do them first, and you do them inner to outer, and I'll explain that as we do a problem or two. And then you look for multiplication and division, and you do that left to right. And then you look for addition and subtraction, and you do that left to right. You must follow this order for every single problem. So I'm not going to tell you that from now on. As we get practice with it, you'll just do it uh, as, we, as we solve our problems. So it's a good time here to actually start to solve a problem. Um, what if we have uh, the problem, very simple problem, 8 plus 3 times 4. Now let me ask you, how do you do this? A lot of students will take the 8 and they'll add it to the 3, uh, right? That'll give you 11, 9, 10, 11, and then multiply by 4. But that's wrong because you have to follow the order of operations. First we look for parentheses. We don't have any parentheses, so we ignore that. Then we look for multiplication and division. We have multiplication right here, and you must do that before any addition or subtraction. So the way you really do this is you leave the 8 alone, you leave the addition alone. You don't do that now, but 3 times 4 is 12, so you do that multiplication first. Now you look and say, well, I don't have any more multiplication or division, so now I look for addition or subtraction. And of course I see this uh, guy right here, and so 8 plus 12 is going to give me 20, and that's the final answer. Notice if you do it in the other order, uh, you're not going to get the right answer, and let's go ahead and illustrate that right now. Let's say the problem, instead of what we had here, was actually parentheses 8 plus 3 times 4. Right? What would we do differently here? See, here, in this case, we have a set of parentheses right here. So the order of operations says we must do that first. So the 8 plus 3 will open the parentheses up. 8 plus 3 gives you 11. Okay, And then we still have multiplied by 4 here. Notice we don't have any multiplication symbol here, but you know in algebra when things are written next to each other, it means multiplied, right? And then we look through our list. We don't have any parentheses. We have this multiplication, so we have to do that next. 11 times 4 is 44. So you see, these are the same numbers. 8 plus 3 times 4, 8 plus 3 times 4. It's just here we had to do the multiplication first. We got this answer. Here, because of the parentheses, and only because of the parentheses, we did the addition first. And so we got a totally different answer. So you see, even though we had addition going on here, 
and usually addition is last, because it was inside the parentheses, that forces it to be the top priority. All right, so let's go ahead and do another one. We'll, we'll get the hang of it as we work more problems here. What about 6 minus 3 divided by 3? How would we handle this in terms of order of operations? Well, first we look for parentheses. We don't see any parentheses. Next we look for multiplication or division, and I do see that I have a division here. So the 6 stays along for the ride with the minus sign. 3 divided by 3 is just 1. So I write that right there. Now the only thing I have left is that subtraction, which gives me 5 which is last priority, and that's the answer. Now, again, let's change colors here and see what would happen if we solve these exact same numbers with some parentheses to force it to behave differently. So 6 divided by 3 inside the parentheses, or 6 minus 3 in the parentheses, divided by 3. What are we going to have? Well, now, order of operations says we do the parentheses first, even if it's subtraction, the lowest thing, but it's inside the parentheses, so we have to do it first. So we have 6 minus 3 is 3, and then the divide by 3 just stays along for the ride. Now, we can kind of mentally drop this parentheses here. I'm writing them here just because I want you to know where it came from, but once you've done the math inside, you can kind of mentally drop it. So really you have 3 divided by 3, and of course that's going to give you 1, and that's the final answer to this guy. All right. Now what if we, um, let's go over here to the right-hand side, and do, what if we have 5 plus 10 divided by 5? What's that going to be equal to? Well, again, I'm looking for parentheses first. I do not have any. I look for multiplication and division. Here's some addition. Here's some division. Division is going to come first. So the 5 plus is going to stay along for the ride. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And now that I've done that, the only thing I have left is the addition, so it's 7. And that's the final answer on that. I'll change colors, and let's just regroup it. 5 plus 10 divided by 5. How do we handle this? Now that we have this set of parentheses, I must do what's inside of here first. And so 5 plus 10 is 15 divided by 5. I can mentally drop this set of parentheses now that I've done the math inside. 15 divided by 5 is three, and that's the final answer. So I tried to choose some problems here to show you. Even with the same numbers and the same operations, if you force uh, force it to, to behave out of order, you're going to get different answers. So that's sort of trying to teach you that order of operations is extremely important. First do parentheses, then, then do multiplication division, then do addition and subtraction. So work these yourself. Follow me on to the next lesson. We're going to get some more practice with order of operations in algebra.